Today is a typical day at work for Black Labrador Charlie. He's an assistance dog who helps former police officer Matthew Connor calm his anxiety. Matt left the police in 2011 after developing PTSD. He now runs this coffee van on the north coast of New South Wales and Charlie is never far from his side. He comes everywhere with me, mostly everywhere with me in the coffee van. Why did you decide to get an assistance dog? It keeps me calm. Is when I go out with him, you sort of concentrate on him rather than what, you know, your hypervigilance sort of goes down a little bit. Um, because, I mean, you're still very wary of what's around you and what's going on. Lord. Assistance dogs like Charlie start training at eight weeks old. Yes. What a good boy. Well, around Australia, there's oh, probably three, 4,000 assistance dogs. There's 800 guide dogs, and then the rest are made up of uh, PTSD, uh, dogs for people with physical disabilities, autism, and uh, other mental health issues. Tip. Good boy. Yeah, that's yes. good. So he can close doors and, <laughs> yes, uh, and so that's um, a... drawers and things. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It takes two years to fully train an assistance dog, according to Richard Lord, the CEO of Assistance Dogs Australia. Our professional trainers work with them sort of six days a week, uh, looking at the higher order tasks, in, in our case, picking up dropped items, uh, pressing buttons at the traffic lights. I suffered from PTSD for a long time and um, wasn't getting any better. Been in hospital uh, four times now. You know, just a lot of violent jobs and um, everything from, you know, kids to, to, to car crashes, to people on fire, to murders, to, you know, violent, you know, very violent crimes. All what the doctors tell me is you, your brain can only take so much. What's it like having PTSD? At the moment, I I'm, think I'm, I'm going OK. Um, but then there's other times when you either want to dig a big hole or, you, you just, or even worse, you don't want to be around anymore. How does Charlie help you? He gets me out of the house a lot more than, you know, than what I was previously. He lo loves the beach and I love taking him there. <gasps> yeah, these were from Lachlan. Oh, Lachlan got you lollies. Yeah. You going to say bye-bye to Jim? Bye, Jim. Bye. Thank you. Assistance dogs help different people in different ways. Turbo belongs to eight-year-old Rook Scanlon, who has autism and ADHD. He finds it really hard to process his emotions, so if he's feeling really angry, that sort of manifests in a meltdown, or if he's really, really upset, then that will manifest in a meltdown as well. Turbo has helped make life easier for Rook and his parents. He knows when Rook is going to have a meltdown before he does. Like, he's, he picks up on that anxiety. Rook basically didn't sleep. He was up all night, you know. He had regular night terrors. Yeah, and know, then the night that we brought Turbo home, Rook slept through the entire night, and he has pretty much done that ever since. Mm -hmm. How does he get rid of your nightmares? Um, well, at night when I'm sleeping, uh, um, he actually, um, eats them. He eats them? Yes. How do you feel when Turbo's around? Mm, happy. Every one of our dog placements is a terrific story and, uh, you know, people can't wait to tell us how much you know, change it's made in the positive manner in their lives. Thank you. Three hot and three hot small Ah, uh, yeah, just small. Thank how much better is your life now that you've got Charlie? Uh, heaps better. Yeah, yeah, it is heaps better. It's, um, it's, uh, well, like I said before, I can go out, I can do things, I can do things that, um, I didn't, well, wasn't able to do before. Bye, Charlie! Bye, Charlie. Bye, Charlie. Bye, Charlie. Bye, Charlie. Bye, Charlie.